Hello there and welcome to the TSA examination room today. How are you feeling? A little bit nervous? That's quite normal. But I can reassure you that you've only been sent back here um, because our system has flagged either a flaw in your luggage, on your person, on your carry-on. So this is just double-checking that everything is fine, but since past events, we just have to be sure, okay? Good, okay, so I'll start by asking you a couple questions here, if you don't mind. Yeah, let me just get my checkboard here. And then uh, we'll have you um, drop your stuff in there. But we have your luggage that's come in from the conveyor belt, but uh, may I have your ID, please? Um, and I'm just going to be double checking the information as you say it to me today, okay? Okay, good. And can I have your full name, please? And middle name included. Okay. Okay. And your date of birth for me. Okay. Alright. And where is it that you are flying to today? Okay, so I just have a bit of more personal questions I'd like to ask you um, to try to rule out uh, anything possible way that our system picked up something, okay? Alright, do you have a pacemaker? Okay, okay. And do you have a medical bracelet, a watch, a, a wristwatch that you cannot take off, or any sort of jewelry that you cannot take? And do you have any prescription or medical drugs on you today? Okay. And do you have any federal documents that uh, might be useful to our knowledge today? Okay. And is there anything else you'd like to um, either show or tell us about either what's on your person or in your luggage today? Okay. It's always great to be honest up front. So then, I'll have you just sign at the bottom here, okay? Good, 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 good. All right, thank you for that. Um, it just, the signature says that uh, you've uh, told me the truth and nothing but the truth from that and that you're not hiding anything from us, okay? So then we will get started with our little examination here. I will be doing a drug test here on you today first, okay? Um, although um, it's disclosed as to why you're in here, we like to just um, do a little test on everyone, okay? So I'm going to be taking out some gloves here, okay? And do I have consent to touch you today? Okay. It's always good to be transparent about these things so that I don't make you uncomfortable, okay? doing a little eye test, taking a couple swaps, and then uh, we'll go through your luggage, okay? Okay, okay. Okay, so if you first want to tell me how many fingers I'm holding up. Okay, good. And how about this one? Okay, good. And the other side, how about now? Okay, good. And what about this one? Okay, good. And both eyes now. How about here? Good. And how about here? Okay, good. And I just want you to follow the tip of my finger now, okay? Okay. Okay, good. And I'm just gonna go in with my pin light now, if you don't mind, okay? And I'm gonna actually turn down the lights for us, okay? So, a little bit darker now, but I like to just take a good look into your eyes, seeing that your pupils are dilating, okay? So, don't mind me, just look at the tip of my nose, never into the light, okay? And we're going 
turn back on the light a little bright here. Okay. Go. Um, if you don't mind, I like to take a little bit of a swab here. Okay. Two swabs. So if you just want to put out your tongue there, okay. In here. Swab, swab, swab. Okay. And one last one here, okay. just be doing a little bit of a breathalyzer test. Sorry for all the tests, but we have to do it anyways, okay? So, this um, is just a um, breathalyzer, okay? So, I'm gonna have you do it. What you're gonna do is, you're gonna blow really hard into it, okay? Making sure that um, your nose is closed, but I'll be pinching your nose, okay? You're gonna blow as hard as you physically can into this, okay? Okay. And the count of three, I would like you to go And stop. Okay. Good. So we got just the baseline testing done, but now I'd like you to just place all of your items into here, including your phone, um, your belt, your wallet. Sometimes the belt, you forget to take it off, but I'd like you just to put it all, put it all inside of this box. Okay. So put it all in, put it all in, put it all in, put it all in. Okay. Did you put everything in there that you need to? examination now, so if you don't mind, I'm just going to do a little bit of a pat down. Sometimes this makes people uncomfortable, but trust me, it's only for good purposes, okay? Okay. So I'm just going to touch you here, okay? And if you want to just put out your arms like this and spread your legs, okay? your shoes for me. Okay. Okay. Looks good on this part. Okay. So, we're gonna go through your luggage here. I have my little stick to go through it, okay? That's all this is. Um, we'll go through your person at the very end, okay? So, starting with your carry-on here. But we're just gonna be taking a little bit of a look-see into your luggage, okay? Okay. You said you had asthma correctly? Or correct? Okay. I see that you have your asthmatic um, pump. Sometimes, if you don't take this out and put it on the conveyor belt, it can show up as metal, which there is metal in there, so better mind that for the next time, okay? Okay, lotion, always good. Marker, okay. Snack, okay. You got flagged, but the spoon, which is all metal, you can't see through it in the camera, so... Do you know we have a spoon today with Air Tough with us? Oh, you had a snack, okay. Well, um, this can't come on with you in the plane, so I will be needing to discard this, okay? Okay. Okay. Clean. And just the little pouch in front. Besides the spoon, but I'll be going through more of your luggage here to make sure that we are staying safe, of course, okay? So, putting this to the side. Also, the fact that your thing has metal um, um, 
embellishments on it might be the fact that our camera picked it up. The point is to not get scared when you're in here because sometimes it's just little flaws like that, but we're going to continue checking, okay? So this is your suitcase, okay? Again, the metal embellishments. We sometimes can see this through the camera, so that might not be big of a deal, but just would like to go through, okay? trip for business okay let's open her up okay. I assume you put it in a plastic bag just for the the water okay I'm just gonna open it up okay you can always put your stuff back into the luggage as soon as we're done here, okay? Okay. So, let's see. Okay. Advil? Okay. Let's just take a little bit of a look-see in here. So might be a reason why it got flagged your deodorant here and I'll show you why so when we go through the cameras it doesn't actually say that you have a metal substance in there it's just the fact that we can't see through the object and it'll show up as a white object or a solid color and um, you can't see through it now most bombs or any explosives will be characterized like this, but... I can tell that that is, in fact, just a deodorant, so... Just knowing that for the next time, or maybe saying, like, hey, it's just deodorant, but... Um, okay, go. Let's continue to search, okay. I see you've brought... A squishy friend. Okay, go. Just gonna be um, moving through it because I feel like sometimes things are placed into these or there'll be a slit in the back where things are being put in. Okay. anything too harmless just besides this um but the, for the next time just let us know okay. i know that sometimes um we don't always think of some things as that potentiary but just at the airport we do okay you can seal this back together how much you like okay okay and of course going through the most essential part which is um, your person, okay. So, what I'll do is I'm gonna just take my, um, um, my scanner here, okay? And I'll have you just set up for me, okay? Spread them wide, okay? And I'm just gonna go through, okay? Can you just try? 
turn around for me. Okay, good. I'm gonna go into your pocket, okay? There seems to be... Let's try this again. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of a look, okay? Okay, so... It does look like you have some keys from your car that you parked here. Okay. Okay. Just gonna be checking elsewhere, okay? Okay. Going back again. Okay, so I've seen. Let's do this again. So I do see that there's something maybe in your leg. Or your upper thigh. I'm gonna be a little bit uncomfortable, but I have to get in there, okay? Oh my. What is what is this? Is this it's a it's a pocket knife. So <laughs> I can kind of see why you've been flagged today is because you have a weapon on you today. Well, um, although it, this is America or, um, here we're able to bear weapons, in the airport and when you're traveling you are not, in fact, allowed to carry self-defense, uh, um, weapons of any sorts. Yeah, did you read that in the fine print at all? No, okay, so unfortunately you're not going to be able to fly today because you do have a weapon on you today. Um, you'll have to come back tomorrow with um, no weapon and we'll have to fill out a uh, file for you unfortunately today. I know I was part of your ignorance, but we have to. Yeah, and then, yeah, make sure you always read the fine print. So, if you don't mind stepping into this room over here, we're going to have to fill out some paperwork and write you a claim today. Yep, and you might also want to get a lawyer on the phone. Okay, well, um, sorry you can't fly today. You're going to be quite late to your business trip now, but, um, unfortunately this is how it's going to have to be. Mm -hmm. Well, let's, let's just go into this other room, okay? 